Facebook profile videos are a great way to express your brand's personality on your Facebook page in a way that's a lot more engaging than a photo. So in this tutorial, we'll show you the process to create a super cool profile avatar video like this one. It's only gonna take you minutes and you can create this even if you've never edited a video before. Sounds fun, right? Let's jump in. This project basically consists of three elements. The first is the photo in the middle, which is usually a photo of your face. It could also be your logo or one of your products or something that represents your brand. For this example, we're gonna go with a face. The second element is the changing backgrounds. And the third component is any additional design elements like these flowers that you're gonna add in that have kind of been arranged around the girl's face. Let's go ahead and put these all together one by one. First things first, head over to invideo.io and if you don't already have a free account, you can create one using the link in the description. We're gonna go ahead and open up a blank square project and then the first thing you can do is select a nice music track from our library of royalty-free stock music. I would recommend that you pick a track that has some nice frequent beats to it, like this one. All right, the next step is to take a video of yourself. This is gonna be your main element right in the middle. So take a video of yourself in front of a blank background, and then we're gonna head over to easygif.com, and we're actually gonna turn that video into a sequence of PNGs. So on easygif, come to the tab that says A PNG, upload your short video, and then download that as a sequence of PNGs. So what it did is took every frame of your video and turned it into a still image. And then you're gonna upload all of those images to InVideo. You definitely wanna create a separate folder to keep those organized because you're gonna have a lot of PNGs. Okay, then once you have those all uploaded, you're gonna add them to the timeline one by one. And then once you have them all on there, you're gonna go ahead and remove the background from every one. So if you click on the scene timeline here, it shows you all the images stacked on top of each other. And then you can select each one individually and come up to the top here where it says remove background. And then you wanna set their duration half a second. And then you're gonna move the second image so that it plays right after the first one and then move the third one so it plays right after the second one, etc. So basically what you're doing is taking the frames and reconstructing the video. Okay, now let's move on to the second component which is the changing backgrounds. So you're gonna come over to the stock media library and you're gonna select 12 images that you wanna use as a background. And then you're gonna drag those to the bottom of the timeline. And then what we want those to do is change on the beat of the music. So if you zoom in to the music track on the bottom, you can see it shows the waveform and there are spikes in the waveform that indicate where there's a beat in the music. So basically take your first background, drag it backwards until it lines up with one of the beats of the music. Then drag your second background so that it starts right after the first and ends on another beat of the music and just repeat that process with each one of the backgrounds. All right, then once you have all of your backgrounds in place, that brings us to the final component, finishing touches like flowers and designs in the background. The easiest way to find these is gonna be to come over to the stickers panel on the left side. The stickers library has a lot of elements that don't have any background to them. So you can search for what you want. For example, I'm gonna search flowers. And as you can see, I have a ton of options here. So I'm gonna add in a few of these and you wanna make sure they're on top of the backgrounds, but underneath the PNGs of your photo. Photo. And then you can arrange them however you want. And then to really make these look cool, I'm gonna add some animation effects. So you can just go ahead and click on it, then click animate at the top here. And there are a ton of options for animation that you can add. So you could have it wipe in from the bottom. You can have it kind of bounce in. There's a ton of options here. So you can go ahead and play with those and find something you like. All right, then once you're happy with your video, you can save it by coming up to download and share at the top here. 
that's going to load a final preview of your video, and if you're happy with it, you can go ahead and download it. If you want to create a profile video really similar to the one that I just created, we'll have a link in the description that takes you to the exact template. If you did find value in this video, be sure to give it a like, and let us know in the comments below what kind of tutorial you want to see next. I'm Therese with NVIDIA, and I will see you in the next one.